Welcome. In front of me is a Samsung Galaxy Tab A8 and today I will show you how we can hard reset this device through recovery mode. Said, uh, this process will also allow you to get rid of a screen lock so if you have one set that you just don't know this will get rid of it but I do want to warn you uh, by doing so your device will most likely become FRP locked and what that refers to is if you have a screen lock and you also have just quickly go to the settings and you also have the Google account in here like I do you can see it right here uh, after the reset you will need to verify either the screen lock or the Google account and if you can't do either one of those you won't be able to finish up the setup by default now I will be also recording a video on how you can bypass this kind of verification if you need that uh, but there will be a separate video dedicated specifically for the bypass now anyway, to get started with the actual reset, uh, you will need to have a computer and a cable that can plug into your device and obviously connect it to your computer. So I do have one and once I connect it, you probably might hear the sound of just the tablet connecting to the PC. So there we go. And also uh, asks me for access to data, that doesn't matter, I can just completely ignore this. Now I will begin this process from the lock screen as though I don't know my pattern and it is a bit different if you know it compared to if you don't as Samsung doesn't allow you to turn off the device without providing the screen lock. So let's try that again. Which one is it? I think it should be the power button only. So yeah, uh, by default it will, even if you can get the power uh, mini, it will tell you that you need to put in your screen lock to turn it off. Uh, now this is just an annoying part of Samsung, they're always doing everything to just piss off their users. Uh, so what you can do is just kind of, you know, do this and then hold power button and volume down at the same time. Now you do want to interact with the display. So I'm going to be like just touching it. Once it turns off, switch to volume up from volume down. Then you will see Galaxy uh, Word right here. Let go of the power button, but keep holding volume up. Now, the reason I mentioned uh, the Galaxy specifically is because first you see the Samsung and then the Galaxy appears. Once that appears, you can, like I said, let go of the power button. And here, we can get rid of the cable, as again, it serves no purpose other than to annoy their users. Uh, and it was only needed to get us into their recovery mode, which every other device can access this without a cable. Because that's the default of Android. Just Samsung decided to make it annoying. Anyway, uh, in here, using volume buttons, you want to select wipe data factory reset confirm it using your power button then select factory data reset confirm that at the bottom uh, which uh, was in, not visible of the screen you could see that it could basically begin uh, wiping data and then it gives you a last message data wipe complete at which point reboot system now is selected by default so confirm it using your power button this will now reboot the device and continue resetting it in the background. Now this will take about two minutes to finish up and once that's finished, uh, we will be presented with Android setup screen. So I'll be back once that is visible for me. And as you can see, the process is now finished and you can set up your device however you like. So with that being said, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.